Now then, this is a very interesting one and a bit silly really. We've got a an SB1700 here, SMA, and I'm just putting it on the this mobile array to uh, give it a full test. And it's coming up with something strange. Now we've got the DC connected and we've got the mains connected but it's coming up with grid buffer let's see if I can capture that I'm not sure whether we can see that mode disturbance disturbance VAC buffer what is going on and we've got a light so don't know, got the mains connected. Let's have a look round the back. So we've got the white lead plugged in. Yeah, and that comes all the way along here and up to there. Right, so what I'm going to do is I don't know, is there mains there? I think that's the first thing. On that blue lead there uh, I've got a drill here so let's just switch plug that in and see what happens so unplug that and put that up there okay here's the the drill what are we looking at well all right let's just see if this drill works the drill works. So what on earth's going on? I think what we need to do now is check continuity between that plug and inside the inverter. Right, let's do that next. I've undone some of these already. We just got to be a bit careful because we've got uh, DC here. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just disconnect it. Right, we got capacitors. So now we've got this uh, multimeter on continuity so here's the plug so there's the positive okay or the the live and there's the live and there's no continuity and there's the negative no continuity try it the other way around nothing's going on so if the fuse was blown, it would just be um, the live not having continuity, but the negative would. What on earth? We've got we've got grid 240 volts or 230 volts at that trailing lead, the blue one. What on earth? So grid buffer I've come across this before and never been able to sort it properly so it doesn't look like there's a problem in there yeah the the AC is not getting to here I don't know let me have a look again round here so we have this and this goes to aha <laughs> yeah, that's a bit stupid really yeah here we go this one goes up to there okay so we'll unplug that so the general rule is connect DC first so that's what I'm going to do put the isolator back in okay and then connect this one, not the other one. 
this is what happens when you do experimenting and testing several different types of things. Let's go round the front now. Whilst we're here, I'll put this on 700 volts AC and switch the meter on. Can we see the meter? We can. And have we got AC there? We have. Good. Something's happening. It's humming. Right, 23 watts. Eighty watts. It's a bit of a grey day. It never it doesn't actually tell you what the uh, AC voltage is. It's a very simple um, set of screens here. Yeah, mode maximum power point. 81 watts. Okay, so there you go. I've learnt something. Grid buffer or grid B for yeah, means there's no mains. There you go. Okay, hope you found this interesting. And if you've been struggling with grid buffer with an SMA, yeah, at least you might have a clue now, or at least somewhere to start looking. Do the uh, the uh, YouTube stuff if you would be quite so kind with the ticking and whatnot, and I will catch up with you very soon. Cheers for now.